the algorithms, again, were not mathematically objective. They were not neutral tools. They were, in fact, opinions embedded in code. You train, historically, you train your algorithm to recognize conditions that later led to success, so that when you come upon a new set of conditions, you'll know whether it will lead to success or not. It predicts success. Data can be biased, but that's not the only problem. The other problem is that whoever is in power decides what success looks like. And then the flip side of that is we define what the penalty for failures are. I don't worry about most algorithms, by the way. Most algorithms are benign, but some algorithms really are not, not okay. I call them weapons of math destruction, and they are three things. They are widespread, important. They're used for important decisions for people, as we'll, we'll see. They're secret, even to the people who are being scored, they don't understand their score. And they destroy people's lives. And as an observation, they don't just destroy individual lives, but they actually create a feedback loop which undermines their original goals, which are usually well-intentioned.